here at uh, the Concord Classics Car Show 2016. This is our eighth car show, and uh, we're just about to open the show. And I have uh, Mayor uh, Scott, from, uh, who's the Air Mayor for Eastleigh, who's going to officially open the show for us. And uh, luckily that ambulance isn't coming to our show, so that's useful. But we do have uh, first aid here on block. But before we start, I'm just going to say a big thank you to everybody who's helped organise this show and run the show today. So I'll start from our right here. We have Lynn Wicks here, who's from um, Concord Club, and they very kindly allowed us to run the show today, so that's fantastic. Then obviously we have the Mayor, who's very kindly coming on to open the show for us. Myself, Rob Hurd, I'm the show organiser. And then we have Sarah Hudson here from New house who we really couldn't do without with all their help and support as well and then we have Mike Smith from the Rotary Club and they are doing a brilliant job marshalling the whole event for us and again without them we certainly wouldn't be able to survive so it's a big collective teamwork working together so what I'm going to do first is I shall just quickly pass the microphone over to the mayor to officially open the show so we can allow people in good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, it's too nice a morning for long speeches, so I'm just going to uh, get on with the, uh, the work I'm supposed to do, which is to officially open the show. I d before I do, I'd like to thank the collaboration uh, of the Eastley Rotary, all the wonderful work that they do, for the Concord Club for uh, allowing us to sponsor the event here once again, and also to the, uh, the Wessex Classic uh, Ferrari Club. Without them, the, without the cars to look at, there'd be no point in us being here, would there? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're going to have a beautiful day, uh, and I now officially declare the show open. Thank you very much. both dressed up beautifully for it, really fitting the part, so thank you ever so much for that as well, because it shows how much people have passion for their vehicles, and how much they enjoy them, and like I was saying to you earlier, you know, I love Austin 7s, and I really love them, because my father, his very first car was an Austin 7, and he used to travel to Southampton University from Exeter, back and forth, and he told me that when he got to the the hill out at Chidiuk, he had to reverse because that was the lowest gear to go up the hill every time. OK, again we're looking around the show control area and actually we're in the main arena and with Nigel here with his fantastic VW camper. Nigel, tell me a little bit about your camper. Right, this is Ruby. She's a 1966 split screen VW camper, um, still left-hand drive, uh, walk-through front seats, which is quite unusual because normally they have the bench seats, and a small pop-up. Um, still got the original engine, 1600 engine, but she's been reconditioned. We've had a new gearbox, new uh, steering, tracking, um, but otherwise she's been restored to as original condition and the original colours as she came out of the factory. show today we have lots of fantastic cars on display from Ferraris, Lamborghinis, from Model T Fords right the way up like I said to the modern uh, supercars but we also have some uh, replica cars as well now um, I've brought mine along today which is a Dax Tegero built in 2013 it's a uh, 6.3 litre Chevy V8 and it's on sh display at the show like everybody else's and you know I set up the car show because I love cars I'm a petrol head and I think everything wonderful about them and I know there are many other like-minded people who enjoy their cars as well so that's why I thought it's a great opportunity for us all to come and bring our cars out 
encourage others to do the same and at the same time raise good money to raise for Naomi House Children's Hospice. <laughs> into the Naomi House uh, stand here and I'm speaking to Sarah from Naomi House. So Sarah, tell us a little bit about why it's important to raise so much money for Naomi House. Well, Naomi House and Jack's Place are two hospices for children and young adults um, with life-limiting conditions. Um, I had a look yesterday to see how many children we're supporting with SO postcodes, and there's over 60 families in this area that we're currently supporting. So obviously we'd like to continue to offer support at our hospices and in the community, so maintaining the money that we raise is very important. And am I right in thinking that it costs around about £13,000 a day to maintain Naomi House and Jack's Place? It certainly does, yes. That's around about the figure per day and over an annual period it's around about £7 million to provide our at-home service in the community and our hospices. <laughs> in the car uh, main arena area again and I'm with Luke now who's brought along his GMC fleet side. So um, Luke, tell us a little bit about your car. Uh, I bought it back in January this year. Basically my dad passed away last year so it's a bit of a memory. We always wanted to build an American V8 together. So um, yeah, this came up on eBay so I shot up to Scotland and purchased it in January and brought it back. Scotland, that's a bit of a trick. Yeah, we shot up there in a day in the back as well. So. Wow, so did you put it on low loader or drive it all no, the way back? I went up to view it and then he chucked it on an Arctic and brought it down for me. So. Wonderful, so have you done much work on it since you picked it up? It only it just needed brakes all round and a good engine tune up and that got it going. So. so have you been watching programs like Fast and Loud and seeing about what modifications you can do to it? Yeah, definitely all those sort of shows, yeah, get the inspiration from America. Yeah. Matthew, tell me a little bit about the McLaren 650S. 1450 kilos, 642 horsepower. Um, it's relatively quick, I would say. Stocks well, comes around it brakes. Um, it's got an open diff, extremely well handling. Fantastic. It's a lovely looking car, and I notice on the back there's a, a fancy spoiler. Is that one of those that come up when you're braking as well? It is an air brake, yes. Okay, so obviously this is top technology that we have out there now so uh, it's a V8 is it or a V12? V8 twin turbo. V8 twin turbo so if you would like a ride out in this car today at 3.30 I'm gonna start an auction now to see how much we can raise now bear in mind every penny we make will go to Naomi House Children's Hospice. It was absolutely worth it it was amazing really good experience and the driver is really good so he asked about how I would like to go. I said fast and loud, and it was fast and loud. Hugh Page here. Hugh, tell us a bit about Sporting Bears. Well, Sporting Bears are a national club. We've been around 27 years now. Gosh, I <laughs> know, oh, it's incredible, isn't it? And uh, we predominantly fundraise for children's charities through what we call our dream rides fundraising which is basically we get a collection of cars at events like this for which we take a donation to charity and then the people donating get a 10 mile 20 minute 
ride out as a passenger in the car of their choice. Yeah. Uh, hence the dream ride. Yeah, it's, it is a fantastic charity. They do many events, not only our car show every year. You've been to Chris Evans Car Fest. They're doing, I, I mean, if you have a look at Facebook, they're, they're busy all over the country raising money galore for children's charities. And what's really good is all the drivers and people like you here are doing this in their own time. They're not paid people for this. Every penny they make comes in, the owners are supplying their petrol, they're supplying the cars free, and they're just a brilliant supportive charity. You've come along again to our car show to support us greatly for it. How's it going today? Yeah, very well. A lot more people here, isn't there? There is, isn't it? All well, our car parks are getting quite full. Yeah, I think well, you've well, got a few chaos. Quite, you've had a bit of chaos, have you? Yeah, well, yeah, it's all right. We're handling it. So, jolly yeah, good, yeah, yeah, jolly yeah. good. And we've got the beautiful sunny weather to go with it as well. Yes. And we've got everybody, you've almost got a full train to get back to their yes, cars yeah. this time. So right, yes. thank you ever so much for coming along right, again. Okay. It's been a great event. Yeah. And it's great to have your support. We'll have a quick chat with these people here. Yeah. So did you have a good show? today did you enjoy yourself yeah. and what did you enjoy the most uh, see the cars. cars and what's your favorite car there where did you go into <laughs> yeah they're lovely aren't they the big red Ferraris and things like that so this is it it's just your first time you've come to the show Second. you're gonna come again next year yeah. jolly good well thanks very much for coming along to the show train uh, to have a train ride as well so thank you very much for coming to the show and enjoy it. Blue Flame Digital and the uh, simulator you have here today. Okay, well Blue Flame Digital, uh, we write games for serious purposes. Um, the reason we've got a driving simulator is because we write software to actually drive people, uh, train people for driving. Oh, right. So for hazard awareness. Uh, That's a good road safety thing for commercial it, businesses. Exactly. <laughs> Phoenix Trading. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Phoenix Trading? I can. We were um, a direct sales business, a, a printing and publishing business in the UK. We're based up in London. There are 7,000 traders like myself and we sell throughout the UK direct to our customers and we have over 800 different products in the range, all printed and published in the UK. And our Christmas range that I'm promoting here today is sold in support of the Phoenix International Charity with percentages going to Together for Short Lives, so that's Children's Hospices, Macmillan and Cancer Research. So. A brilliant uh, group of people who are again raising money for those needy children that we have. So it's great to have Phoenix Trading here supporting us again. And they've paid for a trader slot like all our traders here, so we're very much appreciative of them. All that money does go to Nomi House. Back in the main show ground again, and uh, we actually have Stuart here who's brought along this lovely MGPA 1934, I believe. That's correct, yep. So tell us a little bit about the uh, MG. Well, it was purchased by my father in 1957 and driven up to about 1962 where it was taken off the road, uh, in which he, he sort of uh, bought up a family, so it, uh, it got mothballed for a little while. Uh, painstakingly restored over 50 years and had his maiden voyage at Boxing Day this year at Wickham Square. Uh, and he's been on the road and we've done 300 miles this year so far. Wow. And various shows and stuff like that. So all restored in our garage at home. Um, and here it is. 